Hi guys, in this video I show you how to deploy, how to publish your static content and your static application. It could be a React application, Vue.js application or just uh, normal HTML, CSS and JavaScript you can publish it. Okay, and I show you a tool that is called search and it's a, a small uh, handy command line tool that you can use it to publish all this uh, all this stuff like I tell you okay you see there is that simple guys and first of all it's that simple just to install the uh, install the tool and then to use it okay but let's start and, and I show you what I mean and I show you how to use it actually okay let's open the terminal and let's navigate to in my case it's a desktop and I create a uh, I create a folder for the deployed and we use this folder for uh, testing purposes okay let's start first of all with a small react application let's create the react application if you don't want to install the create uh, react app tool what you can do is that you can say mpx okay and then you say create react app and then you say, for example, the name of the app. In our case, well, let's go to call it test rc for React. Okay, let's press enter. And um, that's going to take a few seconds because it's downloading everything that we needed. It's tell you in which directory is going to create the application. And uh, it's using Yarn to add some dependency and it's done. Okay, so what we can do now is that we can cd into our test uh, test rc um, directory and where actually we have the react application and first of all let's see that everything is working correctly with yarn i'm using uh, yarn you if you don't use yarn you can uh, type npm run and then start start just to see that uh, our application is working and in localhost 3000 uh, in few seconds we get the application there we go so we have the application here we don't need it for the moment and we can close here and now we can build our application that's mean that with this command yarn and build we're going to create the static part of the application so that's mean that uh, react is going to compile everything for us in one folder called uh, the name of the folder is built okay so if you see here we have a uh, build okay so we cd into the build folder okay and let's start to deploy well actually first of all we have to install the tool that we're going to use today the search and you say npm install and then dash g for global and then search okay press enter it's going to install everything that you need it and it's going to be actually very very quick okay as you can see it's very quick now so now the command that we're going to use to deploy is just easy as this we just type search okay and nothing more in my case i was installing before and i'm a uh, register okay but uh, i just show what i mean when you type search okay now uh, as you can see the here in the top is uh, saying running as uh, Alex, Alex Mann, Dev Tools, Gmail, and that's the email that I'm using to register uh, this application, okay? But in your case, because it's going to be probably the first time that you logged in and the first time that you start to use this application, it's going to ask you for email and then it's going to ask you to create your password, okay? And then after that, the process is um, completely same for the process that we are going to do this okay so the first of all it says q in which directory you want uh, which directory actually you want to deploy and our case is going to be the build folder that we just say so we can press enter okay and then it's going to execute for the domain in this case it's going to give us some uh, some like uh, example domain we can change here we can say for example what was it uh, test rc okay or you can put actually your custom domain if you have your custom domain okay in the documentation the search.sh that the website okay you have uh application how you can do this but it's as well guys it's very very easy okay so now we just press enter and it's going to deploy everything and we are done okay so if we visit this url okay we go in the url bar here and just enter and we visit it and there we go as you can see that's our react application and it's already live and it's in 
that domain. And in case that you have your custom domain, you can put your custom domain. Okay. So as you can see, guys, that's so 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 easy. And you can you can do actually uh, the same thing. Now let's let's show you actually that you can do absolutely the same thing using, uh, for example, Vue.js. Okay. Uh, we can go one more down, and here we can say Vue create and let's say well view test up okay it's going to go view test up we press enter we wait a little bit what i have here is a, i have pre-built uh, configuration for my application okay so you just press enter and then it's going to install uh, the vue.js with uh, vuex and uh, view routes and uh, stylus like using for the style okay but in your case probably it's going to be different but it doesn't matter the point here is that i just show you that we can deploy actually a uh, vue.js application easy and very very simple just using the command line actually you don't need to leave the command line just type in here okay well there's uh, many tools that you can use it with the user interface if that's your thing okay so you can uh found uh, probably I'm going to leave some uh, links in the description for some videos or some tools that uh, they're using uh, mainly uh, a user interface if if that's if that's something that you prefer okay so let's see the into our view application and let's say the what was it yarn surf what was yeah what was surf I think so so now it's going to build everything that we needed and it's going to give us uh, that URL and this URL if we copy the URL here and um, let's open the new here and we say uh, yep that's our application that is working and actually that's um, that's the route and you can see that the route is working here so let's see that after the deploy the route is still working because sometimes you can have some problems with another tool that I was using before okay so I think that we're done here. So what we can say now is yarn build and we can start to build our application. And in this case, with the Vue.js case, it's going to be in this uh, folder. Okay, you know, the build folder like it was a React and it's going to be in the dist. Let me see. Anyways, we have this. Okay, if we cd into this, okay, and iOS as well. You can see that we have the index file, we have a JS folder, and we have the images, and we have a CSS folder. And let's go to do the completely same step like before. You just say search, um, you press enter, and he is going to ask you again in which folder you want to do this. You just press enter because we are in this directory that we want to deploy, and it's going to give you some, uh, well, some domain uh, example domain okay uh, well let's use the, the example domain let's press enter it's going to deploy everything we're done let's copy this here and let's paste it in the bar here okay and let's see actually that we have a live and there we go we have our view application live and let's see that the routing and the routing is working perfectly as you can see here we have about and here we have a home so guys, as you can see that the search, uh, it's a one very, very easy to use tool. Uh, you can install with the NPM. So the dependency obviously is not JS. Well guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate that if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Okay. And see you in the next video. Bye.